Barbados decides to become a republic. Republic means, you know, the head of state, which supposed to be, was the queen and represented by the governor general. It's no longer the year, so they're going to get a president. This is the cutting edge and I refer my next Wednesday. Today I'm with you. So we are continuing our journey, you know. We're going to make them sidetrack from the aim and objective. Where we stand for and where we dare for and where this program is a deal with. Recently, I hear him kind of recant upon evil, terrible things you know, by saying that when people are start saying, yeah, Jamaica should have been a republic, he start to say, that is, that is of no significance to not know. You know, see, right now, we're in here, we're right building the economy and all them seem there. The, getting rid of the monarchy would not make any difference. Now, symbols, this is symbols. White people know how to use symbols to maintain their presence in a former colonial countries. What do what we mean by that? Statues, names of places, people and things represent the people them who put the statue there, who name the place there. And so even if they're not present physically, it is something that got through history to remind you that this is what was and this could be what should be. Now we are looking at all signs on the road. A sign is an easier form of transmitted information than actually reading the sign. For instance, a stoplight. A stoplight don't tell you to say stop. Get ready to go. And them use colors. When you drive on a highway and you see a, 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 what you call it, a, a perpendicular um, triangle on a sign, it shows you yourself, boy, right now, it's a hill, a hill of you. It will get steep, etc., etc. You know what I talk about. I say, I don't understand why the Prime Minister would say it's not going to make any difference. Getting rid of the Queen is not an economical situation, it's a psychological thing. Getting rid of the Queen means uh, you show the people them in the context of you are actually independent. Because even though we declared independence in 1962, we still use a constitution that was given to us through Bustamante and, and, and Norman Manley. It was given to us by the same colonial masters that we so highly represent and respect through the Governor General. It has Symbols have nothing to do with economics and how far your economics will go if you don't get rid of the queen. It's a psychological thing. It's a thing for show the people them say, watch out. You represent yourself. It's not John Tam versus the crown. It is John Tam versus the people. Like in America, when you go in a court, you say John Tam versus the people. The people is represented as the state in a colonial country that still represents and hold the Queen as the head of state. It is talking about how you're going to see law and order through the eyes of the colonial masters. Who is them for come tell we about order? Where is them put we in a position where we in know that we have to have struggle and a fight that we can have some bosses slave who come tell you now say getting rid of the Queen is of no significance to anything. It's just a little, you know, by the way thing. We are telling people them say we have to maintain symbols. People say Saint Elizabeth. Who was Saint Elizabeth? St. Anne, who was St. Anne? Portland, who was Portland? If all of these people is Europeans, it has nothing to do with we as a people. The name of people, places and things have nothing to do with we as a people. And it's time we recognize that. We must recognize that people, places and things, symbols represent places, places and things. And the people must be represented in the symbols that is perpetuated by the, govern the governing state. Or else, we're just getting a confusion. We're in a confusion right now because we don't recognize how great and how valuable symbols are to the psychological development of a people who are domiciled on these slave plantation islands.